Welcome to Foursquare's exceptional cask selection. Well, most of them. I obviously don't own the 1998, so this is an Emperor. And I also don't own the port cask. So we're substituting with the 2008, but that should be fine for what I'm trying to do today. So I'm creating a video which sums up all the findings um, from the blogs and internets that so many people have been putting out there. I just got a bit confused when I was trying to understand all the detail behind them. Uh, when I started drinking and collecting these bottles a couple of years ago. So Foursquare Distillery is located in St Philip's in Barbados. The CEO and master blender is Richard Seal, and this truly is an exceptional cast selection. Uh, in these, we have a series of 1 to 14, and they're called Marks. There's a 15th one coming in the next week or two, and hopefully we see a lot more coming down the line. Uh, all of these bottles were priced between 45 and 80 British pounds. So what are they? Well, they're pure honest run. They're tropically aged in Barbados. They're a blend of pot and columns uh, still. And if I read from the back of one of them, it says pure rum, no sugar or other flavor has been added, which is exactly how we like our rum. So let's go through the years. Released in 2008, 2014, 2015, Right, so it took, it took seven years to get the first three bottles out. Then we had three in 2017, the Zinfandel, the Criterion, the 2005. 2018 saw so another good year with the Dominus, the Promise, the Empery. 2019 we had the 2007, the Sagacity and Nobilarity. And in 2020 we've had the 2008 and Detente. So to give you an idea, all of them are aged in different barrels. So we have ex-bourbon here. Now this is ex-bourbon and ex-port. Ex-bourbon, Zinfandel. Ex-bourbon and Madeira. Ex-bourbon, ex-bourbon and cognac. Ex-bourbon and sherry. Another ex-bourbon and sherry. Ex-bourbon, ex-bourbon and Madeira. Ex-bourbon, ex-bourbon. And the last one, which everyone's been waiting for, is the ex-bourbon and ex-port. Now what you see, there are some similarities. So. We've got the 2004, the 2005, the 2007 and the 2008. Now all of these are at car strength and they're all ex-bourbon. And someone says, what's missing? Obviously 2006, which was released via Velier, um, and that's an exceptional bottle in itself. But for this conversation, we're going to take that one away and put these ones back. We start to look at the ages as well. So we go from 10 years, 9 years, 11 years, 11 years, 10, 12, 10, 10, 14, 12, 12, 14, 12, and 10 years. So everything is in that sweet spot of 10 to 14 years. Then we start looking at how strong the, the, the rums are. Now initially, these were bottled at around 40%. This is standard sipping rum, um, and that's what everyone was, was expecting. But then we go up to a cast strength run at 59%. The next one in release was 43% and then they kicked it, uh, kicked it again with Criterion up to 56% and 59%. This went to 56, Promise to 46, Empery to 56, 59, 48, 62 in the Nobilarity, 60 and 51. So what we can see from the different strengths is that there are some car strengths in there. You know, notably the ex-Bourbon ones, Ooh, let's try and find them, those, those. Uh, 2005 it looks like some of these might have been as well um, but they're also looking at where you've been aged with a sweeter barrel uh, with something like a cognac or a sherry and actually the ABV goes up and for me it's been quite nice to be able to go through those and work my way up from a 40% rum into now cast strength um, when you look at the releases you know 15,000 UK only then we go up to 30,000, 24,000, 24. Criterion only had 4,000 bottles released, which is why you might find it very difficult to find a bottle. 24, 12, 30, 12,000, 27,000, 24,000, which ironically, there was more going to the States than there was to Europe on this one. As this is one of my favorites, that's a real shame. 12,000, 27,000, 21,000. So as you can see, they're all ranges as well, but now they're starting to go out pretty quickly. So what do I like about them? Value for money. They're all accessible to the majority of people. There's continuous experimentation, whether it's from Zinfandel to Madeira to Cognac to Sherry. Um, you never know what we're going to get next. 
And, and I think more than anything is that there's such a range and diversity from strengths to barrels uh, to ages that you just can't get bored with this stuff. Um, my favourites personally for 2018 is absolutely amazing. I also very much like the sagacity. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, her favourite is from once. Everyone will have their own, but those are just my personal ones. So there is a problem with ECS. And really, the problem is buying the back catalogue. So what you end up getting is you buy the Detente or the 2008 and you want to buy all of these. Now you think there's 20 to 30,000 of each bottle, but they're disappearing very fast. Should you buy the back catalogue? No. Just buy the next release. There's two or three or four a year. Just keep going forward and looking forward to the next best thing that comes out. The second conundrum is this is ECS range then you've got the PCS range, then you've got the Velia releases, then you've got Real McCoy, then you've got the independent bottlers. There's so much coming out of this distillery. Um, it's up to you what you pick. And I think the last one is that it's very difficult to buy other rums when so much good rum is coming out of this distillery. But I like a bit of diversification. I like a Jamaican, I like a Guyanese, and I also like looking at some of the things that are going on in the new world, such as Privateer or Nine Leaves. So, you know, what does the industry say about these rums? Well, the distillery's been winning the Rum Distillery of the Award a year at IWSC for a number of years. They've also won with 2008 and 2005 the Rum Trophy. Um, I'm sure there's more there. Even in Cigars Lover magazine this year, Nobilarity won a number one rum to go with a cigar. Uh, you know, they're just great. And if you talk to any of the reviewers, they give them four and a half to, to five stars on every single bottle. Um, so really, what can I say? You know, we've had 14 bottles in 12 years. It took a, a bit of a slow start, but they're really ramping up now. Um, and fundamentally, they are a drinker's drink. You know, so you buy these to drink and unfortunately, you know, they are starting to get very popular and with popularity means they're getting off the shelves very, very quickly. Whereas it took years to, to sell out to 2005, we saw that 2008 in the UK sold out in about four months. Um, but fundamentally, it's a run to drink. So enjoy the expressions, try them, try as many as you can and look forward to the next releases. So I hope that's given you a good overview on the ECS range. I'll quickly show you my notes in case this is of any interest to anyone. There we have it. The exceptional car selection by Foursquare Distillery. Thank you very much.